Hey guys, uh, in this video we're going to be doing the back side of page number four in the Everlasting bundle that we are put combining the Everlasting and the Mini Everlasting together into one album. So this is the front of page four that we just finished doing. So I'm going to show you what we ended up making so you know where this video is headed. Um, and as usual, all of my links will be in the description box below. My templates will be down there linked below. My build embellishments, any and all videos that I can think of that I mentioned in this video, I will link below. And just to make it easier for you guys. And I've also got product links down there, um, like to Amazon and to some scrapbooking places. So you may want to check out those links to see the products that I'm using and where I'm getting them, maybe how much they are, whatever, all that jazz. All of that will be in the description box below the video. So um, I've been really having a good time with these with these pages, you guys. I can't even tell you. They're so, so cool. Um, so if you like these types of videos that I'm doing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and let me know that you like these videos um, because I've been having a lot of fun and they're just turning out so cool. And I, I can't even, I just can't even, I just can't, I love them, I love them so much. So this is the front side, so let me show you the back side. So this is what we ended up creating. So it kind of looks like this, an overall feel, right? So this is a floating tag or embellishment or ephemera card or whatever you want to call it, but check it, check it, right? Isn't that cute? So it, it, it just attaches there, so it keeps that closed. And then there's a couple tags, and this is a pocket, and then this is this opens up there, and this is the back side. So look, I made another little pocket, and look, I finally used the feather, yay! Uh, and then I left this blank, it's like for a big photo, or you could put several photos, or whatever, so I left that whole piece blank, plus I love that paper. So that's where we're headed. So if you wanna see how I made this, then you just stay tuned. Okay, so now that's what we have. And then, then what I think we're gonna do is, let's work on, I'm gonna go ahead, before I do that, um, well, no, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm gonna use these two pieces, I think. Um, yep. So I'm gonna go ahead, you know, I'm gonna grab my mom's paper trimmer. Oh, watch out. Oh, maybe not. Where's my thing? Where'd my thing go? Okay, found it. <laughs> In case you're wanting to know, this does fall off all the time. And I did break it. This piece broke off, so I glued it. That's why, that's why it was sitting somewhere random um, in this paper trimmer. So if you're gonna be moving it around like I do, um, putting things up and stuff, then I'm not sure this is, you know, a good idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim the rectangle pieces. We might even use this for the insert, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna put these pieces aside. So we're gonna trim, we're even gonna trim that little tab piece off there. Like that. So I'm going to trim both of these pieces out. Uh, I'm going to trim this piece out too, and then I'm going to trim these two pieces out, and I'm going to ink them up, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got everything inked up and ready to go. I was going to go ahead and show you that I'm going to add to the back side of this insert here. Oops. These Distress Oxides inks, they, the lids want to stick. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but this is the uh, Iced Spruce. And I'm just going to flip this over because this is just white back here. I'm going to go ahead and I could have done it in gray. But since I got these for Christmas and they match a perfect... Oh, you know what else, you guys? I wanted to tell you about that trimmer. Uh, anyway, this matches perfectly to the collection, so that's why I'm using the, the green. Um, 
I did want to tell you something else, but I don't know if you can see it or not, but that paper trimmer leaves like a raised edge um, on the ends. I don't know. It's kind of odd. So I, I have to say, it's just, it's not my favorite. My other paper trimmer doesn't do that, but anyway, moving on. So these are going to be um, inserts that go in here. Well, maybe not that way. Like this. Oops. Right, so they're going to be sticking out. These are actually the side pocket inserts for the mini themselves. So I'm thinking I'm going to put both of them in here. Maybe use a paper clip or something. Um, we'll see. But that's what I'm thinking I'm doing. So it's going to be like this. It's going to look like this. So it's going to be hanging out on you know, both sides just like this is hanging out. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, so... Let's get on to the fun thing. So I'm going to use these two pieces and I'm going to make a floating shaker card. Yeah, for lack of a better way of putting it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, how am I going to do that? I'm going to use, when you buy things like these index clips, these smaller packages, it comes with an outer package and an inner package. So this kind of keeps everything tight so it doesn't shift around too much inside the, the package. So this is what you're left with. And it's got a tiny little, you're not going to be able to see. You're not, maybe. It's got like a tiny little lip. And it's perfect for shaker cards. So I am going to use one of these. And I think, I think what I'm going to do is what I, I want to leave this on here I want to keep it but I also want to be able to trace around or I could measure probably that'd probably be the easier way I wonder if it'll I wonder if I'll be able to reach around there with my pencil I probably should be doing this on the back side shouldn't I you guys I can't even see that Let's do it on the back side. Oh, I won't be able to see that either. All right, let's give it a, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut the, I'm going to cut one up. I'm just going to cut all of these edges off so that I can trace around it. And I'm going to use the other one for the shaker card. So maybe I should just keep this one as a template. I don't like these sharp corners. I'm going to go ahead and notch those little sharp corners off too. Okay. All right, so now that I've got this, I think what I'm going to do, should I trace around it this way and then just cut on the inside of it? Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'm just guessing here. All right, hopefully my pencil mark will show on this black. It does. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is get my craft mat out, my uh, score pal mat. I'm going to get my ruler. Where's my ruler? And I'm going to get my pin blade. You know what? First, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so this has to come through that opening. So... I'm going to start by going right on the inside of that pencil mark. Maybe just a little bit more. And I'm going to try to trim this square out. I hope this works. If not, you won't see it. <laughs> I'll just cut it out and do something different. I just think it's neat. It's a neat idea, anyways. Okay. Alright, so let me see how I did here. Where's my other one? There it is. Alright. Not too bad. Looks like I, I need to take a little bit more off. 
on this side. Wow, that wasn't very straight. And then I need to take this top, the sides are good. Now I need to take some off this bottom or top. Let's go on the top. There's more room to wiggle on the top. You just want to try to be neat. I'm not going to be able to get those nice little rounded corners that are there, but I should be able to get a good enough snug square. Oh, yay. Okay, it's almost perfect. It's like it needs just a little bit more of a sliver. Okay, maybe that'll be good. Ooh, there we go, that's good. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. What do you guys think? Isn't that gonna look cool? I don't think it is. Okay, I'm excited. All right, so now what I wanna do, I'm gonna move this so that I don't get ink all over that. I don't want that. I'm gonna go ahead and try to ink these edges just a little. So now, what I think I'm going to do, I know you can't hardly see it, but I think I'm going to go ahead and add some tape, some score tape to the plastic piece here. I'm going to add a piece down here at the bottom. I'm going to use the quarter of an inch on the top and bottom because it's there's more uh, space for that, but the size I'm going to have to use the eighth of an inch. So I'm going to do this, whoa, and I should probably, uh, you know what, I am going to, I'm going to cut, I think I'm going to cut where the hanging part is, that hanging tab thingy, I'm going to cut that piece off. I don't need it. I don't really need that either, but I'm going to leave that on there. So I'm going to go ahead and add tape to this as well. Oops. And how about if I just do one more in the middle, like that. And while I have this out, I think I'm going to go ahead and run tape all the way around the edges of this. I hope I'm doing this right. I hope, I hope, I hope. We shall see, won't we? Okay. Sure that tape's going to be covered up. I should have done that first. Yes, yes it will. All right, so now I need to add an eighth of an inch onto these little side pieces, and you need to make sure that you get, there's no gaps to where stuff will fall out, because when I did my little prototype, making sure this would even work, first of all, I made a mess and got stuff all over the tape and it blocked it from sealing completely. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue this to this part. I'm going to, let's see, I guess I could use the same glue, couldn't I? Or the same glue. <laughs> I guess I could use the same tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just run some tape Whoa. along that ledge there and along this ledge 
I was gonna use like glossy accents or something, but this works too. I just want it to be a solid piece. You know, the finished thing to be a solid, because it's gonna be like a floating, um, not pocket per se, but a floating card. It would have been cool if I'd have thought about it. We should have made a pocket, shouldn't we have? But that's okay. This is cool by itself. All right. So now what I need, oh, right, you know what? I need to close that. So I'm going to take the tape off of here. Where's my little garbage? I just need to be careful that when I put this on here that I put it on there correctly. Can you guys see? Okay, I'm gonna give it a good burnish. Just like that. Yes. So then it'll go like that. Okay, now I think what I'm going to put in my shaker is, I already pulled out the pieces, this is one of the little pieces from the 6x6 six cut apart, cute, I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put this in there, I'm going to ink it up, like this, and I'm going to have that face down. But you know what? I'm trying to decide. Oh, I'm also going to use the sequins that came with the paper line. And I'm going to use some seed beads. I don't know if these are specific. A glass seed beads. 11 slash 0. Whatever that means. And then this is glitter glass, I think. So I can't decide if I'm going to use both colors yet because I feel like the green might be too much. But maybe if I just use the pink. Um... Okay, so when I made my prototype, my I'm not even going to show you because it's bad. Um, I put everything in, and then I took the tape off, <clears throat> and that's when I really messed everything up. So this time, I think I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off. Before I add anything in there to get onto the tape, I'm going to have to be really careful, um, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I don't know which is worse. I don't know which one will be steadier. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So, I'm going to try it this way. All right, I need to make sure that this is the right side up. It'll, it'll float around, so I don't know why I'm caring. But, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some seed beads. And that just helps keep everything flowing. And it makes a pretty cool sound. Okay, I don't really know how many to add, really, quite honestly. And then I'm going to add some of this silver sequence. I'm going to get some in my hand, I think. I don't know how many of these to use either. So I'm going to put some in there. I don't want to use too many, I don't think, anyway. Okay. Oops, one ran away. All right, so this is the one. This is the thing that can really make a mess. So I'm going to be really careful. And I'm going to pour some in here. And I'm going to be really careful not to spill it. Whew. Okay. Now. <laughs> Don't bump it, Jen. Don't bump it. And right, I'm going to take the backing off of this piece here. Boy, we're going to have to have a steady hand here. 
Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently, I'm going to match these ends up. Here we go. Here we go. I'm shaking. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm scared to look. All right, I'm going to burn it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? <laughs> you guys. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm, 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 having, I'm having one of those days, I can tell. Okay, I did good. <laughs> But now, I need to see if I can take it back off. No! Nah! All right, where's my, where's my thingy? Where's my little spatula? Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a little heat to this. I just need to stick a magnet in here. Okay? That's all I need to do. I'm going to take a little heat to this top part and see if I can't pry it apart just a little bit. Goodness, I done burnished it down and everything. Oh, wait, I got a corner. Okay, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, all right. Okay. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, okay, I did it, I did it. All right, where's my magnet? All right, I'm getting my magnets. These are the magnets that I'm using right now. Get them at Home Depot, super cheap. This same thing, two different packages. And I'm gonna go ahead and get two of them so that one I can stick in there and then the other one I can stick behind the page. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape on one of these doesn't even matter which way it's going right now. Take the backing off. I can't believe I forgot that, you guys. Story of my life. Okay. Gently pull that out. And I'm going to just slide that in there. All right, now I'm gonna burnish this back down. If I'd have used my glue stick, I might have had a little bit easier of a time. Okay. This is just an old um, Cricut spatula thingy. I don't even know why I have it. Uh, I don't, don't remember why I have it. That's a better way to say it. Okay. Whew. That looks so what do you guys think? It turned out super cute. Okay. All right. So now what I need to do is I'm going to have this like a floating pocket, like it's going to attach up to here somewhere. So I need to put the magnet on the back side of here. So since I know that's where it needs to be attached, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tape on the back of there. So it'll attach to the page. Okay. And then, what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to lay this approximately where I want the loose, you know, thing to be. The loose, what are we calling this? Um, a floating um, card. All right, wham, got it, nailed it. <laughs> so it just grabbed it. So now this can just be, you know, taken off and, and it can be also be used as a closure to keep that closed. Isn't that cute? And it sounds fun. Okay, all right, how excited. All right, I, I think I'm gonna take a piece of scotch tape and cover that up just so we don't have any issues with the uh, in and out part. 
actually I'm going to do it like, how am I going to do it? I'm going to do it like that for the insert to go in and out just to help prevent any problems. Okay. Isn't that cute? Okay. I'm glad we didn't add the green. I think the green would have been too much. And, you know, I kind of feel like maybe we put too much pink in there because you can't really see the green flowers. You can a little. But, yeah, right? I love it. I'm so glad it worked. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the back side of here. I'm going to go ahead and add it. Or am I? Am I going to add it? No, I feel like I need to do embellishing first. What do you think? No, I'm making... Oh. All right, I'm going to wait. Look, don't forget to add magnet. Yep. It worked a little bit, didn't it? All right, so let me get my embellishing stuff out and play around, and then I'll be back. Okay, I pulled a bunch of my stuff out. Um, I moved the washi tape because it had a glare, but I've got all my goodies sitting out here, and I've been piddling a little bit, just trying to save some recording time <laughs> and editing time. Um, and I did go ahead and put one of the uh, index clips, the Tim Holtz index clip. I put one right there. Um, to hold those two inserts together just right there I don't know if it'll stay but that's um, kind of where I started and realized oh you need to turn the camera on <laughs> so I've got these I've got this idea and I want to show you guys this is my new build embellishment binder <laughs> I was at Hobby Lobby and this is a I think it's a six by eight I don't know but it's a pretty sturdy binder so, and then it comes with pages, obviously, it doesn't, it does come with some, but then I bought a lot more. But my other book was really flimsy, and I had to, I don't know. Anyway, so what I did was I put my build embellishments in here, in the binder, in their different little sleeves, so that I could find them really easily. Wow, why does it look so dark? I guess the glare, maybe? Okay, sorry about that. So, what I wanted to show you is this little postcard here. Um, the full version of it I used, I think, I think not too long ago, but when I was making my first build embellishment binder, I printed off a, a, each sheet at like half, and I did it twice on each sheet, so I ended up with these tiny little bitty pieces, so that's what this is, so I thought, you know what, that's actually a good idea that you can print these build embellishments in all different sizes. So for this little piece here, but anyway, eventually I'm going to decorate this cover or something. That'd be cool, right? Anyway, it's just more sturdy than what I had before. So I thought what I would do is take one of these tiny little postcards and attach it to the, um, to the, what are we calling this? <laughs> floated, 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 <laughs> floating, um, card. So I thought maybe I would do something like that. So my thinking is... It's going to be glued down, so it's not going to go anywhere, but I wanted to ink the edges and the other side just in case you see some of it peeking out and use one of the little flowers. And I think I want to use one of my hole reinforcements. I don't know which color yet. So I'm not using green. There's a lot of green going on. Maybe I'll use the pink. I just think it'd be cute over here to make it look like a tag, you know? like that and then I'm gonna take a regular office punch and poke me a hole there and now I'm gonna add some Baker's twine I think I'll use I think I'll use black this time and string it through there yep obviously way too much so it could be like that it could be on there like that you know so let me trim this up a little bit I think that'd be cute I like it so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac by Beacon I, my camera is like mad at me or something it doesn't want to <laughs> it doesn't want to focus so I haven't glued that down yet so I'm gonna glue this down um, I want it to be like at an angle there. 
Maybe not over that far. Maybe not down there. So I want to put like a flower here to kind of connect the two. Just a little, little something, something, something. Yeah, I like it. I like that. I like that. Just like that. And then I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot to this. I think I'm just going to add a sticker to this side because of this. And I was looking at my stickers and I really like this one that says sing and dance. It's got some foil on it. I don't know. I just think it's really pretty. I'm going to put that down here. I'm going to ink the edges up a little bit if I can just to help it be more distinctive. Stand out just a little more. And I'm gonna cut this tail off right here, I think. And I'm just gonna add it right here. I just think it'll add a little something special. A little detail without having to do a whole lot. Ink that edge just a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks cute. So I was also thinking about uh, maybe clipping some more. I was thinking about putting the bow on there. I was thinking about all kinds of stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna use the bow. Um, okay, so let me move. <laughs> Boy, that is stuck. That's a strong magnet. So I'm thinking this needs something. So I was thinking about Maybe using one of these, um, what's this called? What is this called? Ephemera. <laughs> one of these more antique looking colored cards to maybe go here or something. Um, or I've got one of these that the hole punched already. Maybe something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that might be too close to the same color. Is that yellow. It's flipping stuff over. So maybe do a card like that. So I'm going to go ahead and ink that up and see what it looks like. I don't think I've used one of these cards since the beginning of the book, so I might even add some green to the back of this. So it'd be under there, but it would be just kind of like that. Just another dimension. I like it. Simple. Don't have to do anything fancy. Should I add? I, I really don't want to add anything else on this side. <laughs> I like that the attention is drawn to this. I really, really like that. So I'm going to leave that. That's all that we're going to do. So when it's removed, it looks kind of plain and blah. But, um, but yeah. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, so back here, I was thinking about doing a pocket with the other part of this. We did this a couple videos back where we made... Um, a cool little pocket. I was thinking about doing that back here because this is kind of blah, right? So I don't guess it really matters which side we do. Let's just ink them both just in case. So remember what I did was I glued the bottom and washi taped the side. So we're going to do that again, I think. So I'm going to glue that. Like that. And then we'll have to figure out what kind of insert we want to put there. We also need to figure out if we need to want to decorate that, the top there. I think we should. I think we should. Um, you can't be too, too, too busy. Follow your heart. Achieve. Um, how about a puppy sticker? Do we have any cute puppy stickers? Oh. There's that darn feather I've been wanting to use. <laughs> that darn feather! <laughs> shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, I want to so bad. 
I want to so bad. Put some, maybe use the pink washi tape. Do I have any pieces in here already? Pink. I know I do. I'm just not being very patient. Let's see. There's mom's. Whoa. I got a mess going on. Hey, there's my collage one. These ones are half an inch. Maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll do a pink and a green. I know I saw a green one in here. I know I did. Whoa. Let's find it. I'm one thing. I don't think so. We're not doing that. Look out. No. Okay. Moving on. Alright, so I like that. So now what? So do we make this a like a tuck pocket kind of situation as well as a pocket pocket? Yes, I think we shall. Let's go ahead and tack this down on two sides. Okay, so this card from my Build Embellishments, it fits perfectly in there. And I'm wondering, like one of these pieces would fit in there as well. There'd be two there. That's cute. Should we make it a tag? Should we make, we'll make this one a tag. Let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and ink both sides of this. You know, I like my tags lately. It's my new favorite obsession, tags. I don't know why, I just do, I like them a lot. And I like the um, the colored, uh, build, uh, build, build embellishments. <laughs> the colored hole reinforcements, I like those a lot too, those are fun. Okay, so we're not gonna make that one a tag like a pull tag, but we are going to make this one a pull tag. So smile often. Let's use a green one because I want to. Okay, I'm going to stick that there in the middle. Do a whole bunch, flip it over, and then 
Let's do let a tan one look okay. Or a, a antique one, not a tan one. All right, and then I'm gonna use the gray Baker's twine this time. Why not? And then that will go in there like that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, that's making me happy. Now we need something to go back here. What do we want? Nope. We need something, something big enough that sticks out. That's kind of cute. Or we could use one of these bigger. Oh, that's too big. Shoot. That would have been cute. Well, I guess it's not too big if you, since we've got that there. What do you think? Maybe not that one. How about if we trim this one down a little bit? We have two. Yeah, I'm doing it. Because it doesn't matter if they're sticking up uh, all of which ways because it, when it's closed you'll still see a little bit but that's okay because then watch then this goes here ta-da okay okay that's what we're doing we're going to ink these up and I, I'm going to have to make one of them a tag aren't I this would be great for writing uh, everything that's going on you know the reason you've got these pictures in this album in the first place you write all over this you have tap front and back you put a picture on the back here where it's white I could add some of that green, but I'm going to leave it. It's on the back of this one. Oh, same thing. There's lines. You can just right away. Right away. <laughs> All right, so which one of these needs to be a tag? So, you know, one of them's getting tagged. I kind of feel like since this journaling card there, or femur card or whatever has it, that maybe we should do this one. Yep. Let's do that one. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do pink on this one. Find the center, hopefully, the best I can. Whoa, I was way off on that. Flip it over and do one. Let's do the antique color again. Whoa. And then some black paper one. I like this. I like the way this is turning out. Should we do anything here? What should we do if we did something there? Or should we just leave it like that? Bam. What do you guys think? Do y'all feel like it's got enough going on? Do you feel like there's enough happening here? I kind of am feeling that. I'm feeling that there's going to be a whole space here for a picture. Yeah, I like it. I mean, look at all these places for extra goodies. It's so awesome. Okay, all right. So now what we need to do is we need to attach it. I'm gonna clean this mess up and then we're gonna come back and attach it to the front side. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the front side, here's the back side. Let's get them attached. So I'm gonna flip these over and I'm gonna attach this one to this because it's just easier, I think. So I'm gonna take the tape off of one part here. I'm gonna use a little bit of glue stick. No biggie. And then I'm gonna take it. Do I have it in the right? Yes, I do. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna match it up in that top corner there and then match it up all the way down. Should match perfectly. Where's my bone photo? Here it is. I go ahead and burnish that down right there. So we've got that side. Perfect. 
So then I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna do it this way, flip this up and take the backing off of this side. Just a little bit of glue stick. I'm gonna fold it down, match it up, and burnish it down. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oops, got hair, got hair, I think I'm shedding. All right, so there's the front. Super cute, whoop. <laughs> and then there's the back. I love it. Okay, you guys, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit this little circle right there. And then I put a link now to my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in the templates, you can just, or the build embellishments, you can just hit that link and it'll take you straight there. If not, everything else, or otherwise, everything else is in the description box below. The products and my Etsy shop and, and the videos I've mentioned and all that jazz. And you may want to check out some of the other videos that you see here on the screen. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.